Let's turn now to the coronavirus. 50% of coronavirus infections could be spread by people who have no symptoms at all. Now, this is all according to a new study done by American and Canadian researchers. And here to share the details is Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy. So, Dr. Nandy, this sounds pretty alarming. I mean, how did researchers come to this conclusion? Yeah, Mira, super alarming, and, and, and I'm very concerned about it. The researchers, here's what they did. Uh, they looked at asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic transmission data. So what that means in English is that asymptomatic is that you're infected with the virus and absolutely have no symptoms whatsoever. You never feel sick. And pre-symptomatic refers to the time period when you're infected, but your symptoms really haven't started. And what the research team did was entered this into a mathematical model, and they basically took New York's demographic data, the, 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 the data of the people in New York, using 10,000 individuals. After simulating scenarios, their results showed that silent transmissions are responsible for more than half of COVID-19 outbreaks. That's a big number. And on top of that, they pointed out that if you took all the folks who actually did have symptoms and isolated them, that silent transmission could is still, in fact, actually cause and sustain outbreaks. So that's, that's an important point. Yeah, important for sure, Doc. So since that information is actually based on a mathematical model, can we actually apply it to real life? Uh, that's, that's a great point, Alan. And so, it's, you know, people say, well, this is a mathematical model. It's not a precise number, absolutely. It's hypothetical and based on probabilities and, and approximations. But if you look at another study that was published in June, it focused on an Italian town where many of the residents were tested for the virus. And here's what they found out, Alan, was that roughly 40% of folks that were tested positive did not have any symptoms, again, supporting that principle. And one more question. The World Health Organization, of course, is considered a science leader, but eyebrows were raised when they recently said only a small percentage of people are infected by asymptomatic COVID patients. Very uh, interesting uh, dichotomy there. Why would they say that? You're absolutely 100% right, Amira. You know, the World Health Organization had previously said this, that asymptomatic transmission and and, and they said, quote, was likely very rare. But and researchers had pushed back saying, listen, there are studies that showed that this is in fact po uh, possible. Now the World Health Organization, here's, uh, here's how I'll defend them. You know, scientific evidence is uh, uh, you know, rapidly evolving. What we say today may not be true in a week, right? So, so as scientists around the world are racing to understand the virus. So in my opinion, here's the key information that you need to walk away with, right? Uh, when you're out there and, and doing your thing and working, running errands, doing whatever you're supposed to, just assume that the person next to you could be infected, whether they're coughing or not, whether they look sick or not. They may not, may not, may not show any symptoms, that's the point. So I wanna say this again, you know, I, I'm like a broken record. Make sure you wear your mask, do everything in your community. This is not just about people looking sick. Stay six feet away, you know, wash your hands, make sure you disinfect, and also avoid crowded places if you can and, and any confined or enclosed spaces. This is not to sh a story to show that there's no hope that asymptomatic people are spreading it and we're doomed. It's not that, that we can actually do our part and we can still curb the virus all throughout the country. And we're doing it, I think in Michigan, we'll continue to do so, but we can flatten it by taking those precautions, even if people are asymptomatic. It's so important we all do our part. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. Thank you. And if you have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.